The story's about poo. Uh, uh. In fact, it's about poo flying everywhere. Uh. Obviously, we don't want to be exposed to the stuff, so with that in mind, we're gonna create our own user-friendly version, which will be hygienic and won't smell bad. Later, my poo has a hair in it. Yet, retains all its other physical characteristics. Now to do that, we need to use some real poo, look really closely at it, measure its qualities, and then try to replicate them. We've decided to use dog poo for that purpose because it's readily available, and it's what you might call your average middle-of-the-road excrement. Basically, they're opening up a whole new field of science. Uh, excrement metrics? Excrement metrics. We have come up with three metrics by which we're going to make our imitation poo. The first one, density. We found that 100 cubic centimeters of real poo weighed 4.1 ounces. That's the weight we're going to shoot for. The next property I was thinking of was compressibility. Second, compressibility. A two inch diameter puck, when we put a couple of pounds of weight on it, actually compressed to a four inch diameter puck. We're going to look for the same type of behavior from our imitation. What about stickiness? Third and final metric, <laughs> it's stickiness. We found that when our puck was compressed between the two sheets of acrylic, if we put a little weight on the bottom sheet, it took four seconds to unstick from the poo. We're gonna look for that exact kind of behavior, and we feel if we match all three of these metrics, our imitation poo is gonna be just like the real thing with none of the downsides. This sign is number 147 in a series of signs you never thought you'd see. The all-new season of Mythbusters, Wednesdays at 9, only on Discovery.